right, so we're getting along pretty well. Um, I did put my carbs on. Um, there's a gasket that goes behind here, and then it's just four bolts. So I didn't show that, but it's really simple. Uh, you just got to kind of slightly put it on the thing and then get your bolt in there. <clears throat> it's a pretty chilly morning. Um, we're in pretty good shape. Um, I realized after the fact that I didn't put my ground straps on. So I need to put my ground straps on today. And there's four of them that go in here. And uh, I'll pull those and get those ready. And they're just basically, there's a screw and then it attaches to here. And uh, there's, there's a couple in the back. They're going to attach to these two bolts in the back. Um, so that's pretty simple. And I'll, uh, I'll get those going. Um, I got to find a plug for this side up here. They, they do make some plugs and I think I got one, but I just kind of have to look around. Um, and then uh, I've got to go get some fuel line because I'm out of fuel line, but um, I just got to go from the fuel pump over to my carburetor from here before I can put uh, the other stuff in. I can put the distributor in though today, and <clears throat> so get the distributor in and and then. Uh, you know, I'll be almost done with the power head as far as getting it together. You know, I got to put the coil and the distributor in and wire up the the uh, um, oh can't think <laughs> uh, my rectifier rectifier and it goes it'll go over and. Uh, on top of the coil is uh, is the uh, solenoid, and it'll wire to that solenoid. So, and then you know, it's uh, it's just about ready to ready to just about deep be done. So <clears throat> we're in excellent excellent shape. Oh, uh, I had to, uh, I had to put the, uh, shift shaft linkage on. I think I talked about that. It's pretty simple, but I had one bolt that was missing, so, you know, can't recommend enough to maybe get a bunch of hefty bags and then label your bags accordingly because... Um, you know, I didn't, I mustn't, either it was missing, um, which is possible that it was missing or I misplaced it and any effect, uh, what I had to end up doing, I got a lot of extra parts. So I took a bolt that was kind of longer, um, it's one of these and see like that is too long for that one and so I had to cut it down and then I chamfered the end so that you know it wouldn't cross thread or anything and then I just I put that in place and so that's done and uh, the shift shaft's all linkage is all set up and uh, so far man it really looks great and everything seems to be coming together all right so <clears throat> Thank God for that. Anyway, uh, you know, I've got I got a little work to do, but not much. And then I can open up the lower unit and see, uh, you know, what it looks like. Um, I think I checked this before to see if it was holding pressure. I think I even put some oil in it. I'll check that and see if that's the case because I've had it for a while and I just haven't I can't remember what I did probably should have done some notes too 
but um, if not, it doesn't matter. I'm going to go through it and do a complete service and see if it's holding pressure. If it's holding pressure, then I won't replace the seals in it. Um, I will replace it. I have a water pump coming, and I have a complete water pump. I've got all the gaskets and everything, um, but I ordered a water pump because I've got a couple other lower units that are out in the other garage that uh, <clears throat> I want to I want to do a service at least on one of those in order to uh, have a backup lower unit um, for my other motor that's out there and uh, what next uh, yeah once I get that all done I can put the lower unit on and then I can put it out in the driveway and start it see how how it does uh, but um, it's, you know, get the distributor in and probably almost set the timing. And, um, gosh, I don't know what else to tell you right now. It's a little update. So, anyway, um, get close to Thanksgiving, so I'm going to try to get this done at least by next week. i got to work this weekend, so, um, that'll be, you know, I can't get back to it till like, Tuesday and it's Friday today, so... <clears throat> get as much done as I can today and then I'll be I'll be in good enough shape that uh that it, yeah next week I should be able to knock it out I'm, I mean I'll have the water pump kit you know here in a couple of days so um I expect to have this running next week so that's a good thing and uh then I'll just Anyway, it's going to take me a while to get all this video together and get it posted and, you know, so that's a, that's another thing because I've got, you know, like almost 10 hours with a video on this that I'm going to post. Um, obviously edit down, it won't be as long as that, but um, it's quite a bit of editing. So, anyway, um... I think I'll go ahead and get the ground straps started, and then I'll get back with you and just show you that. That's so simple that, you know, I'm not going to just turn the camera on for that. Oh, uh, what else? Uh, yeah, we're kind of getting into winter, so it's uh, I got the heater going out here. I got a little turkey fryer. I just fired it up. Just try to warm up the garage. Uh, you can see my breath. So, yeah, it's pretty chilly out here. Anyway, man, uh, it's been fun to do this. And, you know, if you can do it yourself, then, you know, you could save yourself, uh, you know, a lot of labor. But if you had to get a completely rebuilt engine, if I went through and I replaced all the needle bearings and all the bearings and stuff, you spend a lot more money. Um, honestly, for an older motor like that, I think it's just getting it running, and, um, man, it's going to, it's going to be a good motor for, you know, quite a number of years before you have to completely rebuild it again, so, you know, I'm not worried about the, the needle bearings and stuff in there, and they seem like they were in really, really good shape, so... I don't see replacing every bearing and every piston, you know, it's just, that's crazy. These things were so well built back when they were, when they made those engines that, uh, you know, just better parts um, in a lot of regard, I think, and, uh, but it, it's going to be a really either I'm going to put it on the boat that I have now or I'm going to sell it. Um, and I'll figure that out once I get it running. So, um, you know, it's, uh, but I enjoy it. And, you know, it's, uh, it's a cool little project. And it was something I just wanted to do and get out online for all the people that, got stuff like that and they don't really know how to tackle it. Um, 
I think it's cool. Uh, you know, if it's, uh, I don't know. Uh, one other thing I did do is I had a bad handle on my uh, mid cow, and that was a mid cow that was off another engine. Um, it's a better mid cow than the than the old one. It has all. It was already done. It's got the pistons, uh, cylinder uh, pistons, and you know. So it was a lot easier to just do that one than to rebuild the one that came with it. Um, yeah. Anyway, hope everybody's doing good. Thanks for watching Hawkeye Marine. Are you?